Let's talk about retractable leashes and why they're a problem. Hi, what are you doing? What's going on? Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. Hi. Hey there. How you doing? Thanks for tuning into Modern Dog Training. My name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a dog trainer behavior technician, and we're going to talk about why retractable leashes are such a problem. There's numerous issues when using a retractable leash. These are leashes that are let out 30 feet or so, and then they retract when you need to bring the leash back in. Typically, as I said, they're 20, 25, maybe 30 feet long. They're usually made of a synthetic fabric, a wire, or nylon. This can be problematic if there's a malfunction and you need to wrangle the leash. Or sadly, in some cases, dogs' legs and paws get caught in that retractable leash and they might even get amputated. At best, it might just be a nuisance and annoying to your dog. While it might seem like a good idea to give your dog freedom, it's actually not a good idea for these flexible leashes to be used in city or suburban environments. In city and suburban environments, it's best to have a six foot leash. Remember, there's many blind corners and things can happen quickly in terms of people appearing, baby carriages, bikes, skateboards, etc. Other dogs may be approaching you. Also, remember, you have to contend with things on the ground. If your dog is out 20, 30 feet away from you on a retractable leash, you cannot see what they are doing underneath bushes or trees, and this could be problematic. Remember, they could be sniffing something or eating something that could be dangerous. In addition, sadly, many dogs on retractable leashes need to be counter conditioned because they have some sort of fear or stress. And if your dog is 20 or 30 feet away from you, it's impossible to pair the marker word yes with that food treat in order to get that counter conditioning accomplished. So again, it's best to have your dog on a six foot leash when you're out in public. The same with overly excited dogs. If they're on a retractable leash and they're 20, 30 feet away from you, it's gonna be harder to train because they're farther away. And we know that when dogs are farther away and there's more distance, training can be more challenging. Another problem with those retractable leashes are the handles, those big plastic handles that people hold onto. Dog forbid you should fall and drop that thing and your dog is running down the street away from it because as they're running away scared, that handle is following them because they're attached to it. Not good. The problem with dogs on retractable leashes is many. And one of the things that people end up doing is they allow their dog to freely walk up to other dogs and people, and this is never a good idea. Not everybody in the world wants to be greeted by a dog, and not all dogs are comfortable with being greeted on leash. Greetings, in general, when you allow your dog to do them orchestrated can go well sometimes, but just imagine now your dog is freely walking up to people or other dogs, it's extremely poor dog etiquette and it can be very dangerous. At best, it's just a nuisance. So check this out. I had an experience a little while ago where a woman was behind me walking a dog on a flexible retractable leash and I could sense that the dog kept getting closer. So I turned around to address the dog and the woman, and here's how it went. Check it out. Hi, what are you doing? What's going on? Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. Hi, you go back to mama. No, I'm not worried about that. That's no, all good. All right, shorten your leash. What? Shorten your leash, I'll come say hi. Short, yeah, keep your leash short. Hi, good boy, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, good boy. Why are you so excited? What's going on, how are you? Do you have hands, you hold hands? Oh, I'm cookie. You won't Sit down, hold it's hands. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, I don't need to hold his hands, all right. Are you afraid of dogs? I am absolutely not afraid of dogs, but I work with 400 dogs a year, so. Oh, is that why? You know, I just, you know, it's not a good idea they, to. Maybe they smell it on you? It's not a good idea to. Greet an unknown dog unless you know. Yeah, you know. Got, no, it's okay. No it's okay. Good boy. Here's what I'm gonna do though. All right, I'm gonna give one to Mama, and Mama take you home with the treat. All right, have a good day. I'm not afraid of dogs, but I also know, due to my vast experience, that you don't approach an unknown dog, and until you know about the dog's behavior, you don't know. Earlier in the month, I was waiting on puppies to show up for a puppy kindergarten class here at Urban Dogs. And as I typically do, I was out front doing a little bit of 
watching and waiting and making sure everything was going okay because there's a lot of activity out in front of urban dogs and I like to make sure my clients are safe. So as I was outside doing my watching and waiting, I noticed a gentleman coming down the sidewalk with his dog on a retractable leash and it was extended about 20 feet out. He took no consideration whatsoever that there are businesses where people are coming and going and there's a really active blind corner. And you notice in the video, he just walks right at the blind corner with no concern. I've seen everything from bikes to skateboards, other dogs, people running, delivery people, you name it. It's a very, very busy blind corner. And he took no time to evaluate that and it could have gone horribly wrong. I strongly recommend when you're out with your dog on leash in public that the leash is six feet in length and it's sturdy enough for the type of dog you're walking. Personally, I prefer a leather leash with a brass clip. It's a wise investment. They usually last a lifetime or longer. Just say no to retractable leashes. It'll make your community safer, your dog will be safer, and you won't be a nuisance or end up with your dog getting into some kind of trouble. I'm not the only one who has this stance on retractable leashes. There have been a number of blogs, news stories, websites, and organizations that have written about the dangers of using retractable leashes. They've caused injuries to people and children and dogs. Check this story out. There was a guy out with his dog. A dog on a flexi lead came up to him and his dog. Dogs got into it. He went to break it up. Flexi lead cut his hand off. They reattached it, but he lost 50% usage of his hand, ruined his whole life, his career, everything. Here's the story, check it out. Make it your point when you're out in public walking your dog in crowded environments where things can happen quickly to have a six foot leash. Pay attention and be respectful of everybody and make sure your dog is safe at all times. Just say no to retractable leashes. Thanks for watching Modern Dog Training. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and pass this information on to somebody who might need it. Also, check out these videos on Modern Dog Training.